the iPhone keyboard sucks. Says every Android user switching over to an iPhone. But why? Let's dive into the details, shall we? First off, let's talk about the inconsistency. Notice how there's no colon next to the spacebar in the notes app, but when you switch to a browser, suddenly there's a colon button. Different apps, different keyboards. Confusing, right? Now look at Android. The keyboard layout is consistent across apps, making for a smoother and a more intuitive experience. Consistency in design is crucial for a good user experience. When the keyboard layout changes from an app to app, it disrupts the user muscleman. This means the user has to constantly readjust, which slows down the typing speed and increases the likelihood of errors. A consistent layout helps the user build familiarity and confidence, leading to a more fluid typing experience. Let's look at another problem here, the autocorrect delays. On the iPhone, there's often a slight lag in autocorrect suggestions, making you second guess your typing. This delay disrupts the flow and the efficiency of typing. And on Android keyboards, on the other hand, they're faster and more responsive, keeping up with your typing speed and reducing errors. Basically, Android doesn't need to put in those extra micro interactions where they're not needed. Immediate feedback is essential for a seamless typing experience. When autocorrect suggestions lag, it forces the user to pause and check their input, breaking the natural flow of typing. Autocorrect on Android provides real-time suggestions, allowing users to type quickly and with confidence, enhancing their overall productivity. And let's not forget about comfort. Android keyboards are taller with longer keys, giving your fingers more space to type. This makes typing easier and it reduces the likelihood of making mistakes. Ergonomics play a really vital role in user experience. Keyboards with larger keys and more space accommodate a wider range of finger sizes, reducing the strain and minimizing typing errors. When keys are too small, users may find themselves pressing the wrong keys or even having to slow down to ensure accuracy. This can be frustrating. Another major issue is the wasted space. On the bottom of the iPhone keyboard, there's a whole line of space with just two buttons. One for the mic and one for changing the keyboard language. This space can be better utilized to make the keys larger or add more functionality. Android keyboards make better use of the space, giving users more room to type comfortably. While the iPhone keyboard is sleek and minimalistic, it also sacrifices functionality for design. A great user experience should always prioritize function alongside form. The iPhone keyboards Design choices reflect a focus on aesthetics, but this often comes at the cost of usability. Efficient use of screen space, responsive feedback, and ergonomic considerations are crucial for a seamless typing experience. As much as I love the iPhone for its camera and its overall functionality, Apple, please consider changing your keyboard design.